Let's look at how to enter fractions on a scientific calculator. Most scientific calculators have a fraction key. It looks like this. In a mixed number format, the letters A, B, and C represent spots where your digits would be. First, I'll look at the TI-30XA. It has a one-line display. And if I would like to enter the fraction 3 fifths, I press the 3 the fraction key, and then the 5. It uses a little crooked line to indicate where a fraction line would be. And if I press equals, it stays the same. Let's try number 2, 9, fraction key, 8. When I press equals, something special happens. The calculator <laughs> changes it into a mixed number format. We're going to talk more about going between um, proper, improper, and mixed number formats in practice sets 5 and 6. To enter a mixed number to begin with, I'll try number 3, 5, fraction key 1, fraction key 3. It uses a little dash to indicate that that's between the whole number and the proper fraction. And when I hit equals, it just stays the same. Now let's switch to a calculator that has a little larger display the 30x2s. Its fraction key is located up here. For problem number one, I enter 3, fraction key 5. And when I press enter, the result is down here. They try to make it look a little more like a fraction we would write or type. And it maintains what you entered up in the first line. So let's try number two, 9, fraction key 8. It maintains what I entered, the improper fraction, but it also reports the answer in 1 and 1 eighth, a mixed number format. And lastly, 5, fraction key 1, fraction key 3. When I press the Enter key, I have 5 and 1 third, but it maintains what I had typed in up in the first line.